Greetings, potential Master of Social Work students. I'm Dr. Blake Beecher, director of the Master of Social Work program here at California State University, San Marcos. This online brief information session will cover some of the essential information regarding admission to the Master of Social Work program here, as well as information about social work as a profession. If, it, if you would like additional information about the program, please attend an in-person information session, and I would also encourage you to please visit our website. Social work is the most desired degree in the social service arena, and the mission of the profession is to enhance the overall well-being of all individuals, especially those who are most at risk. The profession is committed to the pursuit of social justice, which is the equal opportunity for all individuals and we work at multiple levels. That means at the individual group, family, community, and macro or larger level. Social work is a profession, and each social work is trained and qualified to assess people in the environments in which they live. And again, as I previously mentioned, to enhance the overall well-being of individuals, families, groups, organizations, and communities, we utilize a large network of resources to help link them to services. In California, it can be a little bit confusing because uh, California does not have title protection. So anybody could call themselves a social worker and it is frequently a job title and the person does not have a degree in social work. Uh, most states do have title protection. So it, it's a little bit confusing when you look for jobs. Um, they'll say social worker and they would love to hire a social worker and will pay them more but that is frequently open to people of other degrees. Clinical licensure or licensure in social work is, is protected by title and is only available to people who are, uh, for example, the licensed clinical social worker license is only available to those who have a master's in social work. Social workers address a variety of different issues that impact individuals, families, groups, and communities. Some of these include the items listed here. These are frequently occurring at the same time. So an individual or family may be dealing with poverty and mental health and addiction and disability and physical illness and discrimination. So they are frequently occurring at the same time. Social workers work in a variety of settings, including those listed here. Um, it's one of the strengths of the degree. Many social workers throughout their career will work in different fields. Um, some new areas that uh, I have seen social workers being hired, the LA Times ran a story about library social workers, so social workers working with um, homeless populations and others who utilize library settings. Um, there are also social workers who work with fire departments, police departments, uh, addressing mental health and crisis needs, um, frequent 911 callers, things like that. Um, most uh, clinical therapists in the United States are clinical social workers. So most therapists, it's something like between 60 and 70% of all therapists in the United States are social workers. So certainly there are large presence in mental health as well as, well as child welfare and other settings. As I mentioned, we are an accredited social work program and social work is a competency-based profession, much like nursing, medicine, physical therapy, where there are expected competencies that students need to demonstrate. Um, these nine competencies are defined by our accrediting body and are listed here. And under each of these, there are several specific practice indicators which students will demonstrate in classroom and internship settings. The MSW program at Cal State San Marcos is accredited by the Council on Social Work Education, CSWE. This is the accrediting body in the, in the United States which means you're eligible to become licensed in any state with an MSW from our program. Classes are run in a cohort format, meaning we admit students as a group and move them through the program as a group, which means that registration is never really an issue. We know which classes you need um, as you move throughout the program and you will graduate on time as scheduled. We have three program options, one and two year hybrid options and a three year regional online program, which are admitted for each fall. The three-year regional online program only includes residents of five counties in Southern California, including Orange County, Riverside County, San Bernardino County, San Diego County, and Imperial County. You must reside in one of those counties as that is where your internship placement will occur in year two and three in the three-year online program. We are an advanced generalist program 
which I'll discuss further, and have emphases in behavioral health, children, youth, families, and school social work that you can get through elective content and for school social work through a qualifying internship placement. The California State University MSW program area of concentration or specialization is advanced generalist practice. This builds upon the generalist foundation, which is the first year of the MSW program and builds upon it from a multi-level and theoretically sound perspective. It embraces diversity and social justice and prepares students for self-aware and autonomous practice through advanced knowledge and skills and assessment and intervention. And these are at multiple levels, individuals, families, groups, organizations, and communities, Red readiness for interdisciplinary collaboration and leadership, social action, knowledge and skills, and integrated research knowledge. From my perspective, the following are advantages of an MSW at Cal State San Marcos. We're a teaching focused institution. Quality teaching is a priority. Tenure track and tenured faculty are teachers as well. And we are also involved in research activities. So that may be an opportunity for students as well. As previously mentioned, we operate on a cohort model and have reasonable class sizes. Our students and faculty are diverse and reflective of the local region and the various areas of diversity. Classes promote direct practice skills and emphasize active learning through group discussions, role plays, case scenarios, and demonstrations. We're small enough that you get to know us and we get to know you. We will know your names. Our overall goal is to provide a rigorous and supportive environment where we set a high standard but also support you to meet that standard. As social work is a profession about what you can do, we are not do, doing students any favors by pushing them through the program if they're not professionally ready and able to demonstrate the requisite knowledge, skills, values, and cognitive processes to be a successful and effective social worker. I will now discuss the different program options for the MSW program. The one-year option, also called advanced standing, requires a bachelor's in social work from a CSWE accredited university within the past five years and a 3.5 GPA or higher. The, if, it, if admitted for advanced standing, the, the student would join the second year of the full-time program. There is additional information about advanced standing on our website. The two-year hybrid option. Courses are held during the day between 8 and 5 p.m. on Mondays and Wednesdays or Tuesdays and Thursdays, depending on which cohort you're placed in. Hybrid means that certain weeks of classes will be held online and others will be held in person. So for example, during a 15 week semester, it could be that odd weeks of courses will be held online. So all courses that week would be online and then the following week, even weeks would be in person. We let you know what that schedule is every semester. Uh, also during uh, your studies, yes, internships are a significant portion of MSW programs in the first year students will participate in a 16 hour per week internship and in year two it's a 20 hour a week so a, a week may typically look like going to classes say on Mondays and Wednesdays between eight and five and then going to internships on Tuesdays Thursdays or perhaps Fridays depending on the needs of the agency and that would be a typical schedule also for their second year please note that internships are held during weekdays typically during business hours when supervisors are present Three-year online option. Courses are held on Tuesdays and Thursday evenings between 5.30 and 10.15 p.m., uh, typically one night a week on your late nights, starting in year two and three. Courses are online, and students must reside in one of the five Southern California counties to qualify for this program, as your internships will be placed in one of those counties. Um, Please see our website for more information. This is a regional online program. Classes will be mostly in synchronous format, meaning you need to be live in front of your computer and the class will be taught live. During the first year, students are not in internships. However, during years two and three, starting in the fall of your second year, students will begin a 16 hours a week internship. And in year three, it will be 20 hours a week. Please be aware that internships are typically conducted on weekdays during business hours as that is when clients are present and when your supervisor is also present. 
Here is an overview of the classes that you would take during the two-year program. This is also available on our website. This is an overview of the three-year option schedule, which is also available on our website. I would encourage you to look at the program's website, uh, which will provide helpful information about the program, as well as assist you in your application process. This is the main page, which has information about generalist practice, advanced generalist practice, as well as our mailing and department contact information. Uh, here's additional contact information regarding, you know, there's a different uh, person you want to contact regarding application status as, uh, in comparison to just regular social work program questions, which are both provided here. Um, a little bit about faculty here. Here's the information about admissions. Uh, you want to go to the How to Apply section, which will provide information step-by-step step to complete an application with the deadline at the top. Um, and then we'll go step-by-step step about to how you complete an application. So you want to have all these things ready before you submit your Cal State Apply application. So it has information about your personal statement. There's the personal statement prompt. Resume with an example for you. Information about references. The Cal State Applied application. You want to click on this application instructions and link, which will, will provide specific information to select the program here, as well as additional information you need to put in re regarding, for example, how much do you have to enter in for your transcripts, which is here. So you just want to ma make sure that you utilize this resource. So there's the online application. This is how you can request and submit transcripts here. Um, and this is information about the Title IV-E Child Welfare Stipend Program, which is a separate application. You can find out information about that under this link, Program Cost Financial Aid and Grants. So there's information about the cost of the program, tuition per unit and fees on this page. If you want to find out more about the Title IV-E Child Welfare Stipend Program, you can find this information here. Application deadline is March 1st, 2020, so it's after you submit our application to the program. And information about the program is right here. An outline of the course curriculum for full-time and part-time is here. Additional information about field education um, is also present at this web page. The admission requirements for the MSW program include a bachelor's degree from a regionally accredited college or university that must be conferred prior to beginning the MSW program in fall semester. So at the latest, it must be conferred by the end of summer semester. You must have a GPA of 3.0 or higher in the last 60 semester or 90 quarter units, and it must be higher than 2.5 to be considered for admission. You must complete an undergraduate course in statistics in any area with a greater C or better. If you graduated from a non-English speaking university, you will need to submit your TOEFL scores. We need your transcripts from each college and university that you attended. If you attended Cal State San Marcos within the past year, we will have these transcripts. And you must also complete and submit the CSU Apply application. Continuing with the admissions requirements, a personal statement of a maximum of three pages responding to the questions in the personal statement prompt, which is found on the How to Apply webpage. Please respond to the questions in a narrative format, not just in a question and answer, and utilize the headings indicated. You'll need email addresses for three recommenders, either one academic and two professional, or two professional and one academic. You'll enter their email addresses into the CSU Apply system, which will contact them for a reference. If you're unable to attain an academic reference, please see the last section in the personal statement about how to address this situation. You also submit a resume verifying all of your experience, including volunteer, paid and unpaid. Please include all experience, even experience which is not pertinent to the social service field. There is a web resource to help you determine whether the stats class you took at a California university will count as a prerequisite for our program. It's assist.org. If you attended a university outside of California and are unsure, you can contact us to determine that. The MSW program 
is both stateside, meaning qualifies for state rate tuition, and also extended learning, which is a self-support option. The MSW one and two year program options are state supported, meaning they receive state funds to discount the tuition rate and are at the, st at the standard graduate rates. Our extended learning program is our three year online option, um, which means that the program did not receive state funds to support it and must charge a higher tuition rate to cover costs. So that is what extended learning, extended education or self-support may mean. It's quite common across MSW programs to see this, so please be aware as you're applying about what the tuition rate may be for the option that you are interested in. Future slides will discuss more specifics about the costs. The costs for the one-year and two-year MSW program options are at the stateside tuition rate for graduate programs at Cal State San Marcos. Currently, that is about $4,600 per semester. You can see uh, the university website for additional information. So the advanced standing students are one year, would have two semesters of courses, and the two-year program will have four semester of courses before completing the program. The cost for the three-year regional online program are $4.99 per unit. This is a self-support or extended education, extended learning program. There are 60 units, so it's about $30,000 in tuition. There are about $1,000 per semester, fall and spring, in, to, in fees, as well as some lesser summer fees. So there's about a total cost of $37,000 for the three-year online program total. This is less than private universities, um, and about the same rate or, or even less than other online CSU MSW programs. This is the same rate for in-state or out-of-state tuition, but please realize you do need to reside in one of the five counties previously indicated to qualify for our three-year online program. Here's some financial aid and scholarship information. At the graduate level, however, most financial aid is through loans, so please be aware of, of how much loans you're taking out at what interest rate you are charged. We have created a departmental financial aid resource page on our program webpage, so I'd encourage you to look there. A significant scholarship opportunity is the Social Work Education Capacity Expansion Grant that we received for 2023 through 2027 academic years. The state grant is to increase the number of social workers in behavioral health settings. Each year, this grant will support 40 or more need-based student scholarships and will cover up to the full tuition and fees of the MSW program. The Title IV-E Child Welfare Stipend Program provides specialized training for students interested in working in public child welfare services in the state of California. We have a total of 18 full-time slots and six part-time slots. Full-time students would receive an annual stipend of $18,500 for each of the two years in the program, so it's $37,000 total. And for students in the three-year program, it covers tuition and fees each semester for the three years. Upon graduating with an MSW degree, students agree to work in a child welfare agency as a paid employee for the period of time they receive financial support. Interest students, students must apply. Please see our webpage for this job training program. Currently, we have two other uh, job training and stipend programs. The first one is the Adult Protective Services Stipend Program. It's a one-year stipend of $25,000. Students must be in a qualifying internship in Adult Protective Services. They receive specialized training in aging services and commit to a one-year work requirement post-graduation in Adult Protective Services. This is typically provided to students in the final year of the program. The Public Behavioral Health Stipend Program or training program is set up in a similar manner um, with an internship and a qualifying publicly funded behavioral health placement, provides specialized training and in-services that students will need to attend, and a one-year work commitment post-graduation in a publicly funded behavioral health setting, which is also typically provided to students in their final year in the MSW program. A completed application to the MSW program includes the CSU Apply application, which is basically what you wanna do last because you're going to be attaching a bunch of things to the CSU Apply application, including entering some information from your transcripts. Please utilize um, the guideline that we have provided on the How to Apply page, 
which will tell you what you must enter into CSU Apply and what you do not have to enter into, into CSU Apply. Uh, your stats prereq, you must have your bachelor's degree in process or conferred, but must be conferred by the time you start. A 3.0 or higher GPA, your letters of recommendation, which you submit their email addresses in the CSU Apply system. You attach your personal statement as part of the CSU Apply application as well as your resume. And that is a complete file. We do not receive files that are incomplete, uh, so please make sure and you can check your student center to make sure that your application is complete or you can contact Extended Learning um, whose information is on our webpage. Very briefly, I wanted to discuss social work licensure. Um, the MSW is the degree and the licensed clinical social work, LCSW, is the licensure available in the state of California. There are many MSW graduates who do not become licensed and, and work in, in fields that do not require licensure. Um, it is available to our graduates, and here is some information about it. Um, uh, MSW is required to, to qualify for a LCSW license, and the student must pass two exams and complete the requisite supervision and practice hours. All of this is post-degree. I always encourage potential MSW applicants to look online to try to find their dream job. So whether that's monster.com or indeed.com, try to find your dream job. Look at the minimum required qualifications as well as the preferred qualifications. If you meet the preferred qualifications, that job will typically pay that individual more money. This slide provides an overview of the area of practice of social work, the, the increase in jobs available for social workers and the higher salary for social workers. Again, it's challenging to look by social work is that in that that includes many things because there's a lack of title protection. But if we look by licensure, that really narrows things down and gives you an idea about what that may look like. Thank you for viewing this information session. If you have additional questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. I wish you all the best in your future academic pursuits.